Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration um, reading for the Pisces Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. I want to say thank you for being here, thank you for being back. This has been a wonderful, wonderful <coughs> week and it's going to be a positive one for you. Um, it's going to be um, a restful week in the sense that you're trying to um, feel your energy coming back. It's going to be a week of love, which is a week of water, which is a good week for you. Um, and the uh, zodiac energy is going to be fire. You have three major arcana cards, and you have the three of pentacles and the two of pentacles. So that is good. You have your own energy vibration on Tuesday. Yeah, you have your own energy vibration on Tuesday, and you have the ten of wands. Okay, whatever the situation is with the Ten of Wands, we're going to look at that. But your focus in this week is going to be the Ace of Wands, and this is good. This is extremely good. Good new beginnings are coming in for you. So, okay, let's look and see what's happening for you, Pisces, in the second week of August. The number two is going to be your energy vibration. You are going to be in limbo but yet still you're balancing out your energies which is extremely good okay this is going to be extremely good okay as we look the number two is here the number 12 is here uh, two three and twelve two three and twelve whatever the energy is two three and l you're going to have a new beginning, a new beginning with the energy of um, the magician. So this is good. Whatever your new beginning is going to be, you're going to find the energy of uh, strength and uh, the four elements to help you to start and have a wonderful new beginning to whatever you're working on, whatever your endeavors are. Okay so here we go on Monday we have the three of Pentacles which is wonderful whatever the situation is you'll be working together with other people to bring something um, to light and this is going to be wonderful so whatever it is um, if you're trying to um, get in school get in colleges uh, if you're trying to get financial help and that sort of a thing for your study and that sort of a thing it's going to be wonderful it's going to be positive whatever the situation is in your life that you're trying to get together and working together as a group or in a team with someone else it's going to be very positive on Monday so, okay. so this is going to be <clears throat> extremely good for you on Monday on Tuesday you are here with your own energy vibration and this is wonderful for you Pisces and what is happening here is that you are no longer in limbo you are seeing the light your energy vibration is up you are fine in a peace um, and you'll be moving to a place within where you're finding true inner peace, calm still, and you are thinking clearly. So this is this is very good for you, Pisces, on Tuesday. So Tuesday is going to be one of your best day. As we look at the middle of the week and what is crowned in the week, you have the energy of the Angman and the energy of the Queen of Swords. Whatever the situation is, is that you're not having, you're not feeling the energy vibration with this Queen of Swords. Whatever it is, it's as if she's pulling your energies and you need to release yourself from her. So you're in limbo with this Queen of Swords for whatever reason it is. It could be your mom that you're having a conflict with or a situation that needs to clear up. So whatever it is you need to um, just let it go let it go ask for healing for whatever the situation is ask for healing ask for divine intervention in whatever is going on and ask it for an healing for whatever is going on with you and this king of the queen of swords okay as we go forward on Thursday we have the ten of ones and whatever the situation is the ten of ones is bringing in the four of Pentacles which is good 
so if you were having an unbalance in your financial situation if you were having burden in your financial situation on Thursday you're going to see the new light um, that things are going to be working out in your favor whatever it is whatever this burden that you were carrying is you're going to see how wonderful that this is going to work out and it has to do with your financial situation so let's say that you were having a little burden with your financial situation it's going to work out in a positive positive way so whatever that is whatever that burden was it's going to be balanced out on Friday we have the two of Pentacles the two of Pentacles is good because whatever the financial situation is you're balancing out everything and it's going to be good okay it's going to be extremely good because you have the energy of the Sun um, being over your financial situation so whatever if you had bills that you needed to pay and the bills were you know now you pay you've paid off your bill and you are going to bring balance to your own financial situation which is very very positive for people you're going to receive message that you know whatever help financial help you need it's going to come in and it's going to come in in a lot of ways so it's good the energy of the Sun is positive as we move forward we have judgment and that judgment have to do with the king of swords so whatever the situation is and this could be relationship business partner because the queen of sword and the king of sword is here so this judgment with this king of sword is a situation that has to do with your work situation for some people you're having a situation at your work and this king of sword is your boss there's going to be a judgment for him not for you but you're going to see this judgment coming out for him it's as if you have been doing the work and he has been taking the credit and then people are going to see that you know it's not he is the one he's he's the one who is doing this work so this is going to be good it's a judgment for him not for you but you are going to be seeing this happening whatever he has done in the past or whatever situation that was happening you're going to see that the judgment is going to come down on him um, for from other people um, if you are married to this person you're going to see a judgment coming out so this is someone who's an Aquarius a Gemini or a, a Libra so whatever has been happening whatever the situation was you're going to see a judgment coming down on this person whoever this person is in whatever situation it is and role he is playing in your life release him out of your life okay release him whatever it is release him because a judgment is coming and down on him and you will be seeing that we have on Sunday the wheel of fortune which is wonderful and this wheel of fortune is saying to you that your money problems is now over because the wheel of fortune is going to bring you um, a lot of financial abundance which is good but there is something I need to know about um, because this wheel of fortune bring in you something and this is good whatever it it's it is bringing you um, you have no more um, there will be no more um, money situation in your life but I need to find out what is happening with this uh, wheel of fortune and the five of Pentacles. what is happening with the wheel of fortune and the five of Pentacles uh, wheel of fortune and five of Pentacles and organization is seen clearly okay so there was a situation with an organization and you're finally seen clearly and the tower is broken down so it is good so the energy with this wheel of fortune and the five of Pentacles is that there was a situation in an organization there was a situation in an organization and you're finally seen clearly and the tower whatever the situation was it's now being cleansed so let's say that you had situation where you had to pay off certain stuff and that sort of a thing and you weren't seen clearly and this organization you had to deal with and now finally you're seen clearly and the tower whatever that was built up that tower energy is being torn down and now I understand why is it you got the energy of the ace of wands and the magician okay so it's as if the universal angels came in and help you to bring you a wonderful new beginnings that you're going to use in a positive positive way okay um 
as I look at this week this week uh, there is a love and a good connection with business partner which is extremely good um, uh, the two threes and twelve is going to be your number two three and twelve is going to be your number so love is going to be the love of yourself the love of uh, um, working together to to make to bring something to light which is going to be extremely wonderful in whatever way you look at it it's going to be wonderful because you start the week off um, working together in a group and as a business partner a connection with business partner people around you which is so wonderful and so positive um, for the people who have uh, um, situation with uh, um, the energies of the Aquarians, Gemini, and Librans. You have to, um, you know, hold positive thoughts about whatever situation that is happening. Okay, whoever this person is, these persons are. It can affect you. It can be some of you, your mom or your or your dad, or these people can be people who are around you. Um, who you're connecting with um, for um, whatever situation that is going on in an organization between yourself and this organization you're going to see that whatever the situation is it's going to work out in your favor it's going to be the end of whatever situation that was going on and you're going to see positive new beginnings coming in your life in whatever way you look at it it's there's going to be extremely a positive new situation coming in your life so you know sometimes um, there are certain lessons that we have to learn in life as we look at the first half of the week it is very positive because your own energy vibration is here and you're working together with people especially this is all about the work 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 because you're trying to work on something to bring something to light and this is going to be good there's going to be a judgment but the judgment is going to be for someone who's carrying the energy vibration of the Aquarius the general the Aquarius the Gemini or the um, Aquarius the Gemini or the Librans okay so whoever these people are there is going to be a situation that is happening with them okay as we look at the second half of the week whatever a burden some situation with money that you have it's going to come to an end and the wheel of fortune is going to bring you an end to a situation with an organization and whatever that was happening in that organization whatever that was happening in that organization it was a karmic a karmatic situation and with this organization or group of people it was a karmatic situation and you're finally seeing clear what was happening and with that uh, you have the energy of the tower coming in to cleanse whatever that situation is so it's good in the end you have the energy of the Sun and the two of Pentacles so whatever your financial situation is in the end you have the energy of the two of Pentacles that mean your financial uh, gains are going to be balanced and your emotions are going to be balanced and the energy of the Sun is going to radiate your life and bring you success okay so this is going to be wonderful remember that whatever is happening the energy some people will bring out the energy of the the, the Queen of Swords some people will have to deal with their their parents their mother for mother who is the King of Swords, and some people is going to find a way to stay in the background and let this person just you know go with the slides okay we're going forward and we want to ask whatever whatever message come out in this week for you guys this is good because I'm testing these cards and um, they, they, they have really good messages on them I don't agree with all of them it says doom Ace of Swords, but Ace of Swords is never, never a doom card. Okay, whatever is happening, the Ace of Swords is that you have victoriously successful. So the energy of doom that she places on these cards, and that's why I test cards. It's not really, I wouldn't say, because the Ace of Swords is uh, the energy of uh, um, victory and success so whatever is happening you're going to be victorious and successful so don't look at the name of the card and the energy of the ace of swords is always a success coming in your life and you know this is going to be 
um, it's going to be a sense of you know situation that are happening in your life situation that are coming out and we have the dead goddesses that display her calamities and uh, um, it is a sort of the, uh, the stand for the air element home of the uh, bodies of soul where who are sometimes supposed to be riding the wind through the drive in many depictions the ace stand for release newness new freedom lifting the earthly uh, resistance lightness a kind of a, a salvation so this is actually good because whatever is happening um i don't know why <laughs> and you know i've been testing these cards and i don't know why <laughs> they gave the name the ace of swords but the ace of swords is good because what is happening is that you are clearing certain certain things so be aware of that energy so um it's it's something that is um a positive um, um situation you know it is something that is going to bring you um, positive endeavors whatsoever is happening so um, we have to be aware of what we send out in the universe okay let's see what the ascension cards are saying Lord Maitre I connect with the great white brotherhood and radiate pure white light today Lord Maitre is the head of the great brotherhood and the bringer who or radiate the pure light and integrity and higher intention Drawing this card suggests that it is time for you to examine every area of your life carefully and, pra and practicing purity of thoughts and words and deed. Your acts to be um, an example of right living for your light will then draw many to the ascension way. Your rewards is the peace that passes all understanding and the joy of following smoothly on your higher life part so this is very very good whatever is happening I want to say to each and every person um, hold positive thoughts and I speak to you next week